Okay, welcome back. Before we move forward, it is necessary to take and uh, look at the high-level architecture and the major components of the Apache Flink. This figure showing the uh, the building blocks of the every Flink cluster. This is uh, always uh, somewhere a client running. It takes the code of the Flink applications, transform it into a job graph and submit it to the job manager. The job manager distributes the work onto the task managers. Well, the actual operators such as the sources, transformations, and syncs are running. When deploying Flink application, there are often multiple options available for each building blocks. We have listed them into the, uh, in the table below this figure, such as a high availability service provider, file storage and persistence, resource provider, matrix storage, and so on. So totally speak, to submit a Flink job, there are three components required. The I, first, Flink client. The Flink client responsibility is to comply batch of stream application into a data flow graph, which is which it then submit on the job, ma job manager. The job manager, the job manager is the name of the central uh, worker coordination component of the Flink. It has the uh, implementations for different resource providers which differ on high availability, resource allocation behavior, and support for submission models. So far, the Flink supports three application deployment model. There are application model. Application model runs the cluster exclusively for one application. And the per job model runs the cluster exclusively for one job. The, the job that my method run only prior to the cluster creation. Session model, the one job manager instant manager multiple jobs sharing the same cluster of the task managers. Task managers the task managers are the service actually performing the work of the Flink job. Okay, this is the high level of the Apache Flink architecture. In the future lectures, we will details explain the every components of them. All right, see you next lecture.